Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here, and today we aren't actually on the crew too, but instead we are going to see how far 10 great British pounds can go on the PlayStation Store. And some of these games are probably going to be awful, but I just wanted to see how many games we can actually buy for £10. And if you don't know, 10 great British pounds equates to about 12 US dollars, I think, so... It's not a great exchange rate anymore, but I think it's around 12 US dollars. And the rule of this challenge is I must play each game I buy for at least 30 minutes and I will give the game a score out of 10. But before we get into this, please like and subscribe as it does help out the channel. So without further ado, let's buy some games. The first game we purchased is called Suicide Guy Sleeping Deeply and costs only around 9 Hence, it was on sale for quite a bit, but I think it equates to around 11 cents USD, so 9 pence for a game isn't too bad. When you load up this game, you are greeted by some nice cartoon artwork and an easily navigable menu screen showing options, level select and start or resume game as well. You also get to see the main character sitting down and watching television in his living room or it's living room, we can't assume genders because it is 2023. This theme also follows through as we get to see the television for ourselves and it seems to be advertising some new beer that is 99.9% .9 alcohol which is a healthy amount for those of you that don't drink. Now our main character has one of these in their fridge so he decides to drink it and goes on a little adventure. Why don't advertisements I watch do this to me. Instead, I just get forced into buying a sofa on a bank holiday. Why is this? To be completely honest with you, I am not sure what is actually going on here, and I don't know how our characters manage to take out a whole eye of a sea monster. How? I'm, I don't know. Um, but straight away, we get thrown into the action, and this game is all in first person with no markers to follow or introduction to the game whatsoever. I look around and find stuff that I can move to make my way up to more stuff and after about 5 minutes of making my way around this area I finally get up to this catapult and I don't actually know what goes in here but we've made it up here so that is an accomplishment in itself. I do spot a boulder and a crane in the distance so maybe that is what goes into the catapult but I'm not sure, I'll give it a try. The physics are okay in this game, definitely not the best I have used in the game, but also not the worst. But my plan right now is to get this boulder into the catapult so I can fire this at the sea monster. And I tried this multiple times and nothing seems to work. And before you ask, no, this isn't a Peggy 3, it is a Peggy 16 game. So I am not bad at kids games, this game is just really hard. But then I think the eye must be movable, and to my surprise, it actually is. So I use the eye to fire at the sea monster instead of the boulder, and wow, who would have guessed that it worked? Not me. But I was now stuck with the green slime thing from the aliens in the attic film, just showing his affection like we just woohooed on the sims or something. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I would try with the boulder another time just to see if he dies because I want a bit of action in this game. By this point of the playthrough I had the biggest headache and I'm not sure if it was from this game being so confusing or from the unnecessarily loud rain noises that are just constantly in your ear. Let's try with this boulder one last time shall we? And yes the love hearts have disappeared back to being lonely for me. But we have finally done it after 20 minutes we have done something I still wasn't sure what we done so I walked over to our green friend and he hit me with the quick one too ultimately paralyzing me and sending me to a fast food restaurant yes this game keeps getting weirder and even while editing it this game is still hurting my brain I was going to give up but I still had 10 minutes left so I pressed on this car and I teleported to Mad Max World. Yep, that's right. We have travelled from Pirates of the Caribbean to Mad Max in seconds. To be fair, 
I'm not going to show this whole level but this level was all about obstacle courses that you could complete to get more engines for your car but after collecting all the engines there was nothing else to do except drive around this barren wasteland we may have left the crew to for today but we have still got some driving elements in this video but look how quick we are going here crashing into everything flying over sand dunes this was the only good bit about the game so far and after driving around for a while I had to give up and close the application because this game was making me go insane it wasn't a bad game altogether I think it had some sort of objective and storyline to it but the controls just made this game feel hard to play and lifeless at times I mean just for 9 pence you can't go wrong and I would say for my 30 minutes of playtime that 9 pence is totally worth it so overall I think giving this game a 6 out of 10 is very respectable it has a few more levels to complete if I did want to go back and complete the game and also has an easy platinum with about 12 trophies and 28.8% of all players get the platinum as well so that would be an easy platinum to get if you are looking for an easy platinum anyway we have only spent 9 pence so far in this series and I will be uploading more videos to this series as well so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that and also tell me in the comment section what you think of this game and if you have played it yourself but I will see you in the next video.